Okay, you know, when it comes to blackouts and power outages and things and solar power and all that, this is a power station. It is the biggest one that has come in to date. This one just came in the uh, last week and I got to give you the numbers on this thing. It is amazing. It's big. It's powerful. And it is, it's just the best one I've seen. This is the Mega 2, not to be confused with Meg 2, the shark movie, whatever, but this is the Mega 2. It's brand new, come in from a company called, uh, oops. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's, uh, let's get the box out of the way. Yeah. Oh, there she is. 54 pounds. And comes with all these cables, but... What's really cool is the features and the number, like I said, the numbers on this thing are really impressive. So we got to take a good look because emergency power is a serious thing. So oops, just put this one out. So they tell me this is new, the Mega 2. And it is, it, it like I said, it's just it, the numbers, the features, it's, this thing is outstanding. And this is just the most wow, you know, I've ever had in here. So we're gonna start by thanking Oops for sending this over to us, of course. And also I'll just take you, show you real quick the uh, website. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It is a lot of stuff, okay. So what I'm looking at here is, like I said, the numbers, but also the features. This one has the features that a lot of us will look for in a power station. And it also has something right there that really surprised me. 30 amp outlet plug right there, yeah, for, you know, really heavy stuff. And also, of course, the regular outlets here, but the outlets are 20 amp systems. Yeah, four of them. So that was like, that's pretty impressive. But let's take a look at some numbers that are surprising, and that is uh, recharge. Yeah. So going from the front to the right-hand side, I guess, on this end, we open up, and here's our inputs for charging this power station. And here's where this is what caught my interest immediately, was this Anderson cable connector right here because it's rated up to 2,000 watts can be coming in from solar. Now, I don't want to get anyone confused because, you know, uh, 2,000 watts is one statement and how much comes in with voltage can be very different. So, for example, uh, the maximum current they're going to allow in here is 15 amp, which is understandable because the Anderson cable is only good for, I guess, looks like about 15 amp Anderson cable, maybe 20. But they cap it at 15 amps, but they run from 12 volt to 150 volt DC coming in from, say, so a solar package, which can charge this up. And that is phenomenal because if I have a thousand watts of uh, worth of panels laying around and I want to put them in series or something and create, you know, 70 volts or something, 80 volts, doesn't matter. It can come in here and charge this power station up. And that is just Phenomenal just on its own. This was this is like better than anything I've seen so far in the industry that has come into my shop This is the best one because it's so flexible from 12 to 150 volts is like yeah, you know That means there's a lot of variance to what I can do with the solar panels to bring power in to charge this up And of course we also have the the uh, I guess we'll call it the 110 plug for charging up at the uh, household which I don't believe in using this uh, at all because I really want my power to come in from solar to charge these stations because it's like free energy at that point. And I have solar, lots of solar panels, so there's not a problem with, you know, with that. But that's just the one side. Let's go to the other side. I'm going to show you something else. Okay, we're on the other side now. And I just wanted to show you this too. We'll just pop this up for a minute. You can get an interlinking system so that you can daisy chain this to extend and even get more power or more storage going. So that built in like that is, again, it's phenomenal. You know, it's the sort of thing I look for in this industry and a lot of times I don't see it, but I do see it on this. I'll be providing a link below in the description to where you can find the, this product and it's on Black Friday sales. And of course, there's, there's a whole line of interesting things over there at Oops for everything from, for solar, you know. This one here, uh, we need to get it outside, but I need to show you the numbers. Let's take a look at the actual hard numbers on this thing. And it, oh, it's 2100 watts max coming in on that Anderson cable. So yeah, that's, wow. Yeah, here's some of the things that caught my interest. Here was the uh, 2048 watt hour. So it's got good capacity and 2500 watt output, which is again, awesome. And 5400 watts peak power. So that is really something. But if we go over here to the specifications, 
And again, this is where things get really interesting. Besides the capacity of 2,048 watt hours, the input on the Anderson cable is a maximum of 2,100 watts. But that will depend on 15 amps, of course. So the higher your voltage off your solar, obviously the better, more charge you're gonna have. If you do live in an apartment, condo, something like that, you don't have access to solar and you still wanna have emergency power, you can AC charge at input, but the AC input max is up to 16 amps. So that's a pretty heavy charge. So you should have a 20 amp, uh, 20 amp outlet if you're gonna do that. Um, output wise, We've got the 20 amp, we've got four of those. We've got the 30 amp 220 uh, plug. Plus on the DC, the DC side, we've got the 12, 12 volt at 10 amp. And on the Anderson output, which you know you can use to do a lot of other things, you also have a 12 amp, uh, you know, 12 volt, excuse me, 12 volt 30 amp system. Plus the USB uh, A type, which is 18 watts max, and the USB C with a 100 watt max, which is Really awesome. And then they include all these cables. So you have different adopter cables for different situations to hook up to the system. So that is really good. She is 54 pounds. She's she's not as big as I thought she would be. She's, uh, you know, they give it to you in millimeters, which I'll, I'll give it to you, but this is being the US, it's not gonna be much good to you, but uh, 460 by 270 by 305 millimeter, which like I said, that's not gonna be much good. Uh, operating range, you should stay within zero to 104 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. You know, they've got Celsius and Fahrenheit on here. Well, that's, you know, that's cool. Uh, certificate, now look at this warranty. I'll stop there for a second. 36 months, so that's three years of warranty. That's, that's freaking awesome too. Uh, batteries, of course, they're the lithium uh, iron phosphate type battery, which again, great because they have well over 3,500 cycles, uh, up to 80% capacity. And of course it has BMS or battery management systems. So yeah, there you go. We're gonna go outside and we're gonna hook on solar and we're gonna charge this bad boy up and just see what it looks like, yeah. Okay, we're outside with the uh, OOPS power unit here, and I'm trying to get a, a shot of the wattage coming in. This is a 200 watt uh, portable panel system out here at 24 volt. So you can kind of get an idea as to what's going on. We're charging the system. This thing has an awesome uh, LED screen on it that allows you a lot of information. It tells you how much input, how much output. Obviously there's no output right now, but I'll just turn the uh, AC on and that way we can kind of see what's going on there and let's see we're at 99 hours or whatever of ac left because we don't have anything plugged in I'm trying to see if i can show you guys this really well yeah we got 170 uh watts coming in off of a 24 volt 200 watt system which is really light really it's just a portable system that i brought outside here to do the test with and that's pretty impressive right there but I'll tell you right now, the 24 volts is what's making the difference. If this was 12 volts, you probably wouldn't, you just, you would not see that much charge coming in. And uh, I was actually gonna set this up this morning at 36 or even 48 volts to see what the difference would be. And unfortunately the weather closed me down. So I had to commit to something different here. What I did right now is I've plugged in a, a little light. Well, it's a four foot strip light on top here and just sort of, you know, plugged it into the unit. And we'll just take a quick look here. We're up to 74%. This is only a few minutes later since we started at 72%. And we're drawing, well, we're just finding out the light fixture draws 40, 40 watts. And we're 172 watts coming in. And of course, we're still at like 99 hours because uh, obviously we have more power coming in from the solar than what's going out. So therefore it calculates it. But uh, if we plug something in that's say 175 watts, and we have 175 coming in we'll see this number change it will actually do a calculation anyways the whole thing was that this uh panel right here gives you a lot of information which is really really cool look at this output input thing going on that is so cool okay we're in the barn <laughs> good place to be it's nice and dark in here so this shows up really well uh, I don't have any load on right now, so output is, of course, showing at zero, but I've got over 2,000 watts available that's coming down from above, and as you can see right now, it's uh, it's actually still on the increase. It's picking up pretty quickly. Uh, this is where this machine really stands like nothing else I've had in here because I can plug a load in here that's quite heavy, a uh, coffee machine or whatever, 
and I would still have excess energy to continue to charge this up while running whatever it is I've got on these plugs, it, providing I've got sun and solar power coming in, which I do, which you can see it's still climbing. And uh, I don't know where this is going to peak out at, but this is up to almost 150 volts of solar coming in. I did some funky wiring at over 2,000 watts. So you can see it's, you know, it's, it's charging the system up and it's continuing to rise. I, ex I expect this thing will come all the way up to, uh, I don't know, 1,500, 2,000. I'm not really sure where it'll peak out at, but she's also charging pretty quickly too, of course, and she's showing that by the pretty little blue thing. The um, also comes with, of course, all these USB chargers, USB-C chargers, and it got, they've got a cable here for Anderson to go from an Anderson to another Anderson, which I'm not sure what the application of that is. Same with uh, the DC. These little DC outputs are here, plus the usual cigarette lighter plug. So she's got all the usual features, but she's just got the numbers. Now, I gotta make one correction. Uh, I'll better say this over and over again, so I really screwed up. This down here is a 30 amp 125. It's a heavy duty plug, obviously, for uh, like, a, you know, like RVs use, that kind of thing. And I had thought it was 220 for some reason. It's not. It's a 125 30 amp system, which in some ways kind of makes more sense to me because at, at 30 amps at 220 was like 600 and, you know, what, 6,600 watt. It was like, no, wait a minute, we don't have that much power available, so that's not making sense. But at 125 amp, at, at 30, you know, at 125 volt, at 30 amp, that's making sense now. So, sorry about that, fellas. I got kind of carried away when I saw that plug. I thought it was a 220 plug, and it's, it's, it's not. But this is absolutely uh, phenomenal. Look at how quickly this is charging up off my solar system. And it looks like we're going to be running about, I guess, maybe 1300 watts uh, coming down from about. The sun's not in the perfect angle or anything right now. It is coming up. The sun's coming up to the right perfect angle for my panels, which will be a little more in the next hour or so. But in the meantime, we're really streaming the power in really quickly and bringing this up to a full charge. Well, I dragged this thing back over to my shop, <laughs> into the garage from the barn, and we're at, uh, yeah, 100% power. Right now we're fully charged up, which is cool. The whole big thing here is that the charging end of this thing you could have up over 2,000 watts of solar panels up at the high voltage and bring it in here. That allows you up to 2,000 watts output that you can be drawing directly or indirectly off your solar. And that's where this thing shines. That makes this thing just absolutely the best power station on the market that I've seen so far because of the charging situation. Yeah, it just, it's like that is awesome, you know because a lot of the other ones limit you to 200 watt or 400 watt, something like that. And you know, if you want to pull more power than that, it's going to come from storage. It's not going to come from your solar. And I like to be able to use as much of that power off the solar as I can. And, and just think in terms too, all you need to do is buy solar panels and one of these, and you have quite a bit of powerful, you know, you have a lot of power right there, you know, without spending a lot of money because you don't need the controller. You don't need the inverter. Uh, you don't need the uh, storage batteries or anything. You don't need any of that stuff because it's all in this, it's self-contained, it's all in one box. So it's, it's a nice, easy system. Plus it's easy to deal with because all you do is hook up some solars to an Anderson cable, plug it in on this side. You've got, you know, you've got your power coming in, storing it up. And, uh, and with, the not, with the price of panels, you, uh, you don't have to necessarily have as much investment in a system that can produce over 2,000 watts. That is crazy. Uh, I just talked to a fellow the other day. He's got, I think he's got over 5,000 spent right now, and he's at 1,800 watts. He can hardly store the power he's got. He's having a lot of issues, and you know he had, he's burned up several controllers and you know some other problems. But uh, looking at that situation and then looking at this, you know. 2,000 watts of panels, uh, you know, somewhere in that range. When you buy a, a bulk load of panels, you might pay a thousand dollars, but you buy you buy into something like this, and you've got a lot of power to deal with off your solar. I use my solar for a lot of stuff around here. That's why I really like it. But let's talk about who this is for because I just mentioned apartment dwellers and condominiums and stuff. But even if you're a homeowner and you just want power backup, this is a lot of power backup, and it's going to give you, you know. It's going to give you a lot of capacity, and it's not going to sound like a generator going off with a you know the 
gas motor running. So that's a, you know, there's a huge advantage to that sort of thing. But also, it can maintain itself. Oh, say plug it into an outlet in the house if you need to. Without, if you don't have panels, you know, and you have this standby power that's, that's an incredible amount of power, especially with this 30 amp uh, heavy duty 125 volt plug. Yeah, you know, you've got a lot of power. And this is really, um, I think this is directly towards, pushing towards the uh, the RVs, because uh, we had a, uh, a motorhome, and that's one of the plugs it came with for plugging into uh, shore power, as they call it. You know, it was the 125 plug like that with the 30 amp capacity to run stuff inside the RV. So again, you'd be able to run stuff on your RV. I'm talking solar, but really the reality is it's it's just emergency power backup, and it has, but it has fabulous solar capacity to bring it in, which I just I just love that. Anyway, uh, I gotta thank uh, Lewis and uh, we got this thing over. Uh, it is we love it. It's everything that I thought it would be, and it just you know can't thank them enough for sending this over to check this thing out because it is. It's a great power station. It's it's the kind of one that I would want if I want emergency power backup and I want a power station. This is the sort of thing that I would be looking for with this type of you know uh, attachments for the uh, solar to come in. Absolutely. I'm gonna call close this out and call it a done deal. Uh, boy, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell. Uh, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna close this down. But uh, man, I gotta put this back on my uh, cart and load it back up to the barn, I guess. And, uh, you know, we'll uh, be using more solar for the future because of something like this. So, wow. Meantime, uh, I'm out of here. Over and out.